Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to VisualBasic.net tutorials. Today we are gonna speak about modules. Okay. Uh, usually, when you write big programs, you of course you will have to write lots of code, and this code is usually placed inside uh, the form. Okay. Uh, over time, your code will be very big, and you will find it hard to manage your code in, in the same page so usually it's better to place the code into uh, some of the code into different file or files okay and these are usually called modules okay one type of these are the modules okay so now let me just add a module to this project you right click here on your project select add and then select module okay and let's call this module test okay so now what do we have here is a module and it does not contain any subroutine or functional structure so we're gonna create a function that adds three numbers together okay so public function add three numbers and one integer and uh, sorry and two integer and three integer uh, what you see here is that the code is exactly the same that you write as uh, uh, and uh, as you used to be uh, while, while you are working with the, with the form okay so here uh, we are adding the numbers return and one plus and two plus and three this is something very trivial just for test purpose and uh, on the form here, I'm uh, placing a button. Okay. Test three. And the code here is MSG box. Now to call the function, either uh, I call the function ri right away. Add three numbers. Um, three numbers: ten, twenty, thirty or I can write it test dot add three numbers okay I can place the module name followed by the, f the function or procedure name or the variable in that uh, procedure okay and uh, whenever I want to whenever I want to I, I can just write its name and call it and uh, the code will be clean and clear for me I uh, I won't have to worry where did I place the uh, where did I place the code because I know I place the code into this module so when I want to modify later on I will just use this one okay so this is one of the modules uh, you can place another module here and let's call it test 2 okay now th this is the second module okay and of course you can write functions that will use the functions in the first module and so on okay so here let, let me just define a variable public x as integer okay and public function store in x uh, okay or let's make it subroutine okay so now x equal add three numbers 33 55 yeah so whatever this code of course does not make any sense but uh, I am just showing you that you can write f uh, functions and subroutine and variables in different uh, in different uh, modules and use them all together without any problem okay so now uh, this is the question why do I have to use a module and how many module should my uh, application contain well uh, it's up to you you can put the whole code of your application inside the form itself okay and of course if it makes sense to you and if you find it easier to manage then you don't have to add a module at all however if uh, your code 
is very large and uh, you have to modify it and stuff like that uh, sorry and you have to keep tr track of it it will be much better to create a module uh, that contains related functions and procedures okay uh, now let me show you uh, sorry uh, one last thing is how many modules do you use well it's up to you depends on how you want to organize your application or your project now let's uh, uh, let me show you a meaningful example that I created uh, a while ago okay for this purpose and I am gonna open uh, a solution and it will be test cells this one and open I won't say th uh, this one okay now uh, this one contains one module and it's called general okay and uh, this is general as you see and it has quite a bit of code here okay and uh, we are having a form and we are having an add cell so let me run the uh, program first to give you an idea and then we, we see the code so we run the program now what do we see here is the window for the items that I was able to sell in my shop in the last let's say few days so I go to sales I select add and I have to enter the item details for example I was able to sell a, um, two books for example two books the price of each one is thirty dollars or something like that I will neglect adding dates okay sells add another one <coughs> a number of pans let's say 13 pan each one with two uh, and I will ignore the date as well okay and so on I am able to save this work into the desktop okay and and I'm able to load that or for example let me select this one cells I select remove move and then I can select load okay I get my information back I can display the total here 